aside from your anecdotes of your friends who told you so. How do you know that? Okay, so um, thinking back to when I was 16 in an anatomy class, when I learned that um, transgender people tend to have the brain structure that confirms their identity that they identify with. And you can look that up. That, that's I, I will look that up. Yeah, it's fact. I will it's look fact. that up and I will find it. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Bambi TV. Guys, we're going to be reacting to a brainwash leftist debate Matt Walsh on transitioning kids. Guys, let's get straight into this. So you've talked a lot about the mental illness and depressed and anxious population in the trans community, but you don't talk about the happy people in the trans community and how these preventative measures of, let's say, like puberty and the surgeries that go for gender affirmation and how these are life-changing and life-saving. I know so, so many people... How do you know? Oh, okay. One second, if I can finish my conversation. Um, <laughs> okay. Many people in my life have had these interventions made and it's saved their lives. I can list dozens of people in my life. So what do you have to say for... I you can, you can list you dozens of people who had surgeries and drugs as children and would be dead today if they hadn't? I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. Dozens of people who have had interventions, including gender affirming, let's say therapies, um, yes, hormones. Guys, the grandma is not having it. Like, look at her expression. Like, she's like, what the fuck are you saying? Surgeries that have made their lives better. I'm not saying it didn't force them to commit suicide, but it made their lives better. What do you have to say for the happy trans community? Uh, I guess I would, I would throw back at you first, uh, because the burden of proof is on you on this one. And I'll explain why the burden of proof is on you. Because as I went over in the talk, um, for thousands of years, human beings existed, and there was no such thing as trying to medically transition people into another gender. And as far as we know, there was no suicide epidemic because of it. Yes. And then in the last few years, People like yourself have come along and said, we <laughs> desperately need to do this or people will be in despair and they might kill themselves. It doesn't make sense. So you are making a claim that contradicts common sense, science, biology, also the entire experience of the whole history of the human race. And so what that means is that the burden of proof is on you to support it. And so I'm going to ask you, you said that people need this stuff so they can live happier lives and potentially, to, it'd be life-saving, you said even. Aside from your anecdotes of your friends who told you so, how do you know that? Okay, so um, thinking back to when I was 16 in an anatomy class, when I learned that um, transgender people tend to have the brain structure that confirms their identity that they identify with. And you can look that up. That, that's I, I will look that up. Yeah, it's fact. I will it's look fact. that up. And I will find it. <laughs> yeah. It's not a fact. Whoa. Not a fact. Should we all pull out Google really quick and look? Okay. Um, so you're saying a trans man has the brain of a woman? No. <laughs> I'm saying that a trans man <gasps> who identifies as a man will tend to have similar brain structure that a cis man would. What did you just say? And where did you get that from? <laughs> look it up. I, it's okay. literally, I, I'm telling you, I learned it from my anatomy class when I was I, 16. And I looked up the fact before I walked up here because I knew that you would ask. Okay. Um, that's Lying. not true, but it also <laughs> doesn't answer the question. So let, let's try to stay focused on one false claim at a time if we can, because we, we might get bogged down. Okay. So you said, you actually started by saying that blocking puberty which is chemical castration of a child. Just is, as one example, yeah. Yeah, is life-saving. It can be. How do you know? Because there are children who have been suicidal that have had these interventions made. What children? How do you, how do you know? Yeah, like, how, how many children have had that done me personally, and then I are still suicidal? Uh, me personally, I haven't met enough trans children to answer that question. You, okay. But I know you that are the making, research exists. I'm a you're making this statement. You're stating it as a fact in front of all these people. There must be a reason, there must be something that you encountered that, that led you to this rather radical conclusion that to save a child's life, you have to chemically castrate them. Not Lupron, no, no, sir. Okay, well, that is what you just said. The drugs we give to kids yes. for, for puberty blockers, so-called puberty blockers, originally are, are cancer drugs used to treat prostate cancer. 
They're also used to chemically castrate sex offenders and child rapists. Yeah. Now we give them to physically healthy kids. You're saying that we need to do that or they will die. And so one last time I'm going to ask you, what evidence do you have of that remarkable claim? I don't think I claimed that every child would benefit from that. Well, no, I didn't uh, say you did. And, okay. You, you, well, said you, know, you, blockers did. you did. Are, you, you uh, said puberty blockers are life-saving. What evidence do you have they, for that? I said they can be. Um, so, the evidence you know? is the encounters with patients who have had these procedures done, and it has saved their, I don't want to say it saved their lives, but it has made their lives better. I can't confirm whether or not they're alive right this second, but there are children that it has helped. So what do you have to say for the happy trans community who has benefited from these procedures? That's well, my question I guess what I have you. to say is that your entire question is built on a whole stack of false premises yes. that, you, that you can't begin to even remotely defend. So uh, I, it's, it is a, it's a faulty question from the start. I, I reject your premise. I, I absolutely reject that there are any kids who need to be chemically castrated in order to be happy. Okay, 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 let's... I reject that. If you want to make a kid happy, get him a toy. Like, get him a phone, get him a PS5. Bro, a lot changes the gender like that. See, that is huge. You're making a choice. Because I would say child is small. Like, let's say you, you can't see a child play with a knife and say he's happy with the knife, so I will leave him with the knife. It's stupid for you to do it. That's like a child cannot just walk into a bank and say he wants to open an account. Or he can't enter a binding contract. Like, these are things a child cannot vote. So a child shouldn't be able to transition because he says, I feel like I'm a woman. Like it's it's a stupid ideology that needs to be cancelled because it's stupid. That's just the reason. There's no need for it to even be there in the first place. Like I really can't believe there's someone that has a brain that is backing this up. Like what the fuck is she thinking about? There's some people have issues and I feel it's not I believe she has too much money that now she just can't think about the world going on a simple way to think about children turning to, let's say, if a child turning to a girl or a, a boy turning to a girl. Bro, no, it's, it's stupid. It's stupid. That That's just the world because I really don't see a reason why a logically thinking person we make such statements and she even can't back it up with any single thing. She just saying it. Okay, I think we'll think about this video. Thank you to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bless.